Greetings everyone. I am career engineer Mujahid Sakar. In this video, we will focus on three jobs you can have in the age of big data. Before starting the video, you can support us by liking this video and subscribing to our channel. In this way, we can reach more people and be motivated while developing new content. Before describing the professions, Another point I would like to mention is our aim here is to give you a general idea. In other words, all three professions you will see here don't have a definite line. You shouldn't think that companies are hiring or will only hire these professionals related to your department. Yes, some of them are currently sought after by companies and some people work in companies with such titles. But saying that you will only do these professions in the age of big data may blunt your creativity. Our aim is to give you, to give an idea about the technologies of the future. Currently, we give this idea through big data, five or six years from now. We can give it with other topics. The important thing is to develop your adaptation intelligence. In this way, you can take your career higher, no matter what technology comes. In order to this, you have to do a lot of brainstorming. Different ideas will be one of the channels that feed you in this process. That's what we want to do with this video. We want to offer you different ideas and be a guide to you to the more in-depth research. Therefore, we want you to think from this point of view when describing all three professions. Now, let's come to the first item. Of course, before coming, it's necessary to talk about the very short big data itself. Since we are going to explain the possibilities of this technology, it's important to explain the technology itself. A bit briefly. Big data, the name of the system that creates those huge chunks of information you see in the digital world right now. There is an example that I talk about in almost every video. I want to say it again. It's been almost 10 minutes since I started recording this video and terabytes of data was produced in almost every area in these 10 minutes. That's called big data. Presumably, the amount of data produced in the last 10 minutes is much greater than that produced in the 10 minutes before that. Because data is produced because data is generated exponentially. For example, the amount of data produced in the last one year is said to be greater than the data produced throughout history. It's so high number. More interestingly, this record will continue to be broken in smaller and smaller time frames. If we come to the first item here, while such large data is being generated, someone needs to parse this data. There is a trend that we always emphasize on this subject. Being able to market, this information is more valuable than the information itself. Big data is one of the methods that opens the door for us in this context. In this context, the first thing you can do is data explanation specialist or data interpreter. In fact, I can say that these three professions are valid for every department. While you can do this with other content in your own section, someone else can do it with different content in their own section. Because this method is needed in every discipline. So, what do people who work as data interpreter, interpreters or data extension specialists do? 
The most important feature of these people is their distinctive feature th that we have just mentioned. But you can think of these people as scientists. In other words, their priority is not to take the next stage, but only to present the data at hand as an output. Money or other business matters are not a priority for people here. The priority of the people here is to find refined information from the data files they deal with and present it to community. This stage is actually the first step we will start to use data in more advanced technologies. For this reason, data descriptors or data explanation specialists are not are not have a, a critical role or they have a critical role. As they improve themselves, our access to advanced technology will become easy. Well, teacher, well, sir, how can I improve myself to work on this subject right now? If you say, first, you can prepare for this process within your time. For example, Today, there is a concept called creation economy. It's a bit of a topic, but it's actually all related to each other. In the next stages, you will be able to see them merge with each other. The meaning of creation economy is save the information at hand from redundancy and transfer it to people in the its simplest form. It's actually creation economy to free information from the captive of access information. How you can do your own internship in the creation economy as a data sensor candidate? How do you do that? For example, let's say you choose two files related to the department you are studying. First, try to follow all local or global sites where you can find articles related to your department. After that, summarize the information you have learned and share it through channels such as Twitter, Medium, YouTube, etc. Over time, you will feel like you are becoming more and more proficient at filtering out that information. For example, the big data strategist will have not will have not much uh, to do with the technical files. Their job it will be the correct matching of data interpreters and data integration specialists. If they can do this, very valuable outputs can be obtained for the company. But otherwise, any information obtained will be worthless. If you see yourself as a manager, a big data strategist may be a valuable department for you. So, what kind of preparation process is needed to work in this field? The first thing you need to do is reading a lot on the use of concepts like integration, competition, and collaboration. If you focus only on technical knowledge, you cannot contribute to the work of the people doing the job in harmony. However, what is expected from you in this job? Being able to bring together two completely unrelated thoughts. It is possible to focus only on your own work while doing one or the third job. Because there are out inputs given to you and outputs requested from you. But we cannot say, say that it, this is the case with a big data strategist. If you see that directing ability in yourself, communicating this too is one of the, the easiest, easiest uh, that is needed right now. It's likely that the needed the need for companies 
in this regard will increase even more in the coming years. Our third and final topic is data integration specialist or consultant. The main purpose of these people will be to embody the re refined information obtained for the company, materially and morally. Can it be added to a product, be a standalone product, or many other parts? All these will have an important place in the daily work routines of data integration consultants. On the one hand, companies that advertise such as Google, Facebook, etc. On the other hand, companies that produce products. Although you will see case in examples in each of them, the desired skill sets will be similar in certain respects. Because my personal suggestion is that if you are determined to be a data integration specialist, it will be better, better uh, to choose one or two sec sectors or area for yourself. Because in order to integrate the data, you need to know very well where that data belongs. It is possible to do this in any sector. But making your product for a brand, your love will raise you in the market in a much shorter time. Yes, it may be too early for that right now, but I don't expect you to make a decision today anyway. But you can start something today. Get started, refine your own learning process. During that journey, you will already feel which sector is better for you. For example, if you are interested in cloud systems, you will probably be excited to consult cloud systems data integration for AWS or Microsoft. It's not just excitement, of course. This usually is also important in order to make a difference in any market in a short time. In fact, this profession seems to be close to the science of management, but it's not so. The priority here is analytical thinking. In fact, if you examine the OECD report or the report of other talent management agencies, you can feel the importance given to do this usually better because in the world of the future, there will be no such thing as not being able to obtain the information but this time it will take place to classify that information correctly. Of course, one more point needs to be mentioned here. We said that the first and third professions are a little more technical, but whatever it is, a communication management is required, albeit at a basic level, because otherwise, it is not possible for the team to communicate actively within itself and to produce common values with each other. To summarize, while those who work as data interpreters will prioritize the scientific aspect of the business, big data strategists will prioritize different muscles such as human relations, networking, and communication skills. Data integration specialists will be the more important, the most important space of companies on the customer side. Therefore, it's extremely important for integration professionals to devote more time to monetize. I think most of what I say is true, but as I mentioned at the beginning of the speech, the purpose, the purpose here is not to provide objective information, but to help you with your idea. While the big world of data is being formed, how can you enlarge the share of the scale? How can we make a bigger, bigger 
take the weather. We try to explain it. Most of the resources I used to do these are groups are and job postings on LinkedIn. For example, I'm looking at which company has hired who on this issue. Likewise, it can be seen from which departments the companies related to big data are requiring graduates. Except that the strategies that those companies set with their competitors and or other manufacturers in their market are also important. In this way, I can have at least some knowledge and idea about the future of the mar that market. I'll be at a basic level. I definitely recommend it too. Of course, lastly, it should be said that this profession may be sought after, but it certainly doesn't have to be in the same market for five years. You can move to different moves to different sectors or companies over time. As I stated at the beginning, this is one step. By taking these steps, you will build a path for yourself. This is what I'm going to say in general. You can send all your requests, questions, opinions, suggestions, and thoughts on the subject in the comment section. Feedback like this is invaluable in helping us improve. Also, if you think you are fed by this video, you can support us by liking this video and subscribing to our channel. See you in the next videos. Bye.